The Renaissance Compressor Expander takes inspiration from the classic tube compressors of yesteryear. Like all of Wave's plugins, its user interface is elegant and simple. Let's check it out. At the top of the plugin window, there are three buttons. The Release Mode button toggles between ARC, Wave's patented auto release technology, and Manual. ARC is similar to very responsive vintage program compressors, but also works well on individual tracks. Use the release time as an overall scaling factor, and ARC will modify it from there depending on the input signal. Manual mode deselects auto release mode. The behavior mode button toggles between opto and electro. Opto and electro have different release time behaviors. Opto is more suited to use on drums due to its vintage emulation. Electro produces a noticeable change in RMS, or average level. It's great for vocals and adding impact to certain styles of music. The gentle character control toggles between warm and smooth. Warm adds low frequency harmonics as greater compression is applied. Smooth does not add these harmonics, keeping true to the original source. Nicely located next to the input meter is the control for threshold, which selects at which level the compressor begins to affect the signal. Note that Renaissance Compressor is a soft knee compressor, and compression or expansion really begins 3 decibels below the threshold. The ratio adjusts the compression or expansion ratio for signal above the threshold. It is located beside the gain meter. Adjust this slider to adjust the depth of compression or expansion. The attack setting controls the response time for the onset of compression or expansion. The release setting in milliseconds controls the release characteristic. When ARC mode is engaged, it acts as an overall scaling factor around which the ARC technology works. When manual mode is selected, the slider adjusts the rate at which the compressor stops reacting to the signal. The gain control can also be thought of as makeup gain and controls the overall output of the plug-in. The gain meter shows the increase or reduction in signal in real time. When compressing, the signal will be yellow in color and negative on the meter. When expanding, it will be blue and positive in value. The input-output meters have peak hold values at the bottom of each meter. Click on the actual meters to reset these peak values. The final feature is the limiter, which is shown above the input-output meter as a simple light indicator. The Renaissance compressor has an L1-style limiter at the output stage and is activated only when the level exceeds digital zero. As more limiting happens, the display will become brighter yellow. If it becomes red, then limiting is very heavy, at 6 decibels or more. Let's check it out on a track. Renaissance Compressor is a very useful tool in controlling the dynamics of tracks, mixes, or masters. Combined with an L1-style limiter, Renaissance Compressor is a great choice for controlling peaks and emulating the old vintage tube compressors. It can emulate compressors from the past and present. 
It's also a must that you check out the Waves user guide and its section explaining the different user presets available. Also make sure to check out CoolSchoolOnline.com for more movie tutorials and useful info for Waves and processing in general.